everybody know I'm over here and I've got my, uh, you know, I refer to Joe Bonamassa as my nephew because I've known Joe since he was 12 and he's like family to me. And I've gone on Joe Bonamassa Blues Cruises, which I just missed one, which I'm really uh, disappointed on. I've gone on several of them. These guys have done a lot of cruises, and they invited me and Marlene. Yep. And actually, Jen and her friend Chris went as well. And we had a ball. And part of the um, uh, show that they did was a tribute to their dad, Ricky Nelson, who was... You know, he was the bomb. He was a teenage idol, really good-looking guy. Girls were crazy about him, but he could sing great. He could play great. He had James Burton and a great band. Was Max Bennett the bass player? No, no, no. Uh, actually, Glenn Campbell was the bass player for a while uh, really? when he went to Japan, but it was Joe Osborne. Joe Osborne, yeah. right. So he was another one of the guys Legendary. from the Wrecking Crew oh, yeah. who, uh, who played with them. Mm -hmm. And uh, just really always had a great band, and every... Uh, they had a TV show called The Ozzy and Harriet Show, which is their grandfather and grandmother. And uh, it was something that every young person had to do. They had to watch a show for the last five minutes when Rick would come up and introduce his latest two. It doesn't sound like a big deal now, but back then there were three, Man. three major stations and a local, and that was it. So when the world tuned in, the world really tuned in. Right. Yeah. Well, we're talking about he was so big, it was like Prince... And Michael Jackson. And Justin Bieber all in one. All in one. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. I mean, right. everybody who loved music who was young, they watched that show. The show was great. It really depicted the 50s era. And, you know. It was also a real family. You yeah. Know, a real family. Absolutely. And, uh, you and know, even some of the neighbors were. Uh, everybody was friends, but they had filmed for 14 and a half years, 435 episodes. Uh, and you can see it like on Nickelodeon. You can, it's out there. We just restored the show in 4K high def, and it's kind of creepy how good it looks now. You know, right. before people grew up kind of having a little shutter, jitter, things like that. Now it's rock steady, and Pop looks even more beautiful than ever. He was, I don't know what uh, the hell happened. He was a good looking guy. Now, right? I mean, you know, <laughs> people used to say I was a little better looking than he was. I but, know. Uh, but, but other than that, you know, the people that have vision knew that he was much better looking. Yeah. So anyhow, the girls were crazy about him. Uh, Matthew and Gunnar, this is the Nelson twins. These guys are so good. And they're going to do a tune for you that I love. Okay, this um, is your request. My All right, request. It, it's your request, and it's because we actually have done a cruise with you before. And we're, you know, we are traveling, man. It's kind of a theme song That's for right. all of us. All right, now you're going to be singing the third harmony, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't want to weigh you down. But okay. Let's hear it. And right. I remember the video for this, too, where they oh, sure. show. It was a, probably, could have been the first rock It video. actually is it the first conceptual rock music video in history, according to the Smithsonian, was the video for this. Our grandpa Ozzy was the, you know, he wrote, produced, directed, edited, and starred in all 435 episodes and came up with this idea of putting a travel scene behind her dad as he was singing and playing. It was right. the first conceptual rock video. So when you listen to the words, you know, when they say pretty Polynesian baby, uh -huh. you know, yeah. see. I love so, how politically incorrect it is oh. by today's standards. I absolutely love it. That's what you gotta love about That's it. Right. That's right, that's rock and roll. Well, let's hear it. All right, one, two, uh, one, two three. <laughs>
right now, Tony. You can actually hum a guitar solo. Uh, isn't it perfect? I love solos that you can hum in the right. shower. The Absolutely. Beatles. It's, 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 yeah. it's, it's, the Beatles, James Burton, and Elliot Easton from the Cars. That's right. He's, uh, another, genius, another, great. he's another buddy of mine, too. Yeah, so, us too. Uh, these guys are the bomb. This is the Nelsons. And uh, I've known these guys for... Since Moby Dick years. was a minnow and the Dead Sea was just sick. <laughs> That's right. There you go. So... I'm so happy to have you guys back in town. We've been in communication from yeah. time to time. And, yeah, always. Um, you know, Let's do another cruise together. Guys. And If you don't mind, we're going to stop by next time we're in town, too. We want to make this like you a home base. You can do this. This is your home base. Okay. Guys. Thank you, Matthew Gunner. Today, yes. Yes, yes. I was Matthew yesterday. He knew. Matt and Matt. That's right. Oh, there you it's go. It's funner with Gunner, I promise. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The Nelson Twins right here at Norm's Reggaetars. Thank you, guys. <laughs>